Chicago police are telling us they're questioning someone in a hit and run crash that killed a bicyclist last night. In the wake of that crash, family and friends asking the city to rethink safety measures at the intersection where it happened in Old Irving Park. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas takes us to Milwaukee and Kenton. Two memorials for two cyclists just feet away from each other. Next to the southbound lane of Milwaukee, a tribute to 37 year old Carla Aiello, hit and killed by a dump truck here in late 2019. Just across the street, a bouquet of flowers where 22 year old Nick Parlingayan died Wednesday night, breaking the heart of his stepfather, Ariel Javier. I miss my son. Uh, he was dear to me, and, you know, to have him die in this tragedy so young. I just want, you know, people to understand what I'm going through. Javier says Parling Ian was riding his bike to the store around 9 o'clock to pick up the next day's breakfast when a driver hit him and took off. Police say it was a 2020 to 2022 black Nissan, which looks like this. I just want the person to, you know, either uh, give up or just, you know, turn themselves in. People living in the area told us off camera they've long been concerned about the bike lanes here, from a lack of barriers to faded paint. Now some are worried the road construction on the next block south might be causing another hazard. We watched car after car forced to drive into the bike lane because the road narrows in this area. Police haven't said what caused the Wednesday night crash, but Parling Ion's family and friends want the city to take a close look at cyclist safety. Somebody needs to change the way you know everything is sectioned out over there it's not safe for bikers or just people in general in the 2019 crash the dump truck driver was cited for improper right turn and negligent driving javier hopes someone will be held accountable for the wednesday night crash please you know love your kids give them a hug every day tell them you love them tell them kiss them hug them you know before anything anything happens to them Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.